There's a lot of history in this building. Yeah, it's, it's an old building, and I... It's, it's just... This place is oh. all great. Why is this taking us down? Is that normal? No. This elevator creeps the hell out of me. They know that I'm here. Probably, yeah. <laughs> OK, so uh, what's what's on two? I rent a space on the second floor. It's my workspace. Could we stop on two? I'm feeling drawn to two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the starting point. I can tell you the good energy that's here is the one, believe it or not, that died here. OK. So died in this building? In this building. I will tell you this person passed in, in a very violent, tragic kind of a way. They were not in the, the right mindset before they passed. Uh, either they were insane, out of their mind. Uh, I, have to, I have to see what this is about. OK. Uh, I'll tell you what he just told me. Please. He told me his name is Sonny. 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 I think he was Asian. He told me that that's, that's what, his, uh, what the American people called him. He's above you. He worked above you. That's right. what he told me. Right. Uh, you know what he told me? He said, Bruce knows me. Who's Bruce? Uh, the owner of the building. Oh. Wow. Have you been able to validate that? If he's ever heard of this? Yes. From what I understand, on the third floor, there was a fellow who did commit suicide. OK, hold on a second. Actually, Sonny's sweet. And he's reaching out to you, but in like a father kind of a way. Huh. In case you want to know, where is the dark energy while the good energy is speaking to me? Don't worry about that. Once the light comes in, the darkness can't help but have to go to the side. So we have almost one that's like kind of dangerous because he's very enamored with you. And then we have Sonny, who comes across like your, your, your father. Right, right. There's something. There's something on the fourth floor right now. But what's on the, do you know what's on the fourth floor right now? Uh, I used to rent a space on the fourth floor. Now, hold on. Something's going on. Something's happening above us. Do you know the person that's on the fourth floor? Yeah, I know who, who leases up there, yeah. Are, are you friendly with this person? Yes, yes. Uh, it's a female up there? Yes. Can you get her to come down right now? Yes. OK. Oh. Are you ladies ready? Here we go. Just going down this hallway. Do you feel dense walking as we walk? Do you feel like we're pushing through something? Yeah. Trying to get one leg. That my legs are getting heavier um, because we're being followed. We are being followed. This is a little bit more than what I think I expected. I'm not. I don't know why to you about that. Erica, this is, this is your space? This is my space, yeah. Something happened here. You were, I want to say, punched. Where did that happen? Um, actually, I, I was reading a book over on the couch, and I started to, there's something in the air that just got really heavy and kind of tense, and it was really uncomfortable for me. I uh, kind of didn't want to be a part of it, so I, I laid down. And I could feel something like an energy above me. And um, 
it made a very quick movement and it, it kind of it came and it hit me right in the stomach. I'm feeling it. I, I couldn't breathe and the energy inside, it wasn't necessarily exclusively internal. It was internal and external and it rose to, it, it rose with my whole body and it got to my throat and I, I started choking. I, I was starting to panic and I, I put my hands out and I, I ended up throwing up. Good. All over. And, Good. Um, Do you understand this, why? The second I threw up, the air cleared and, mm -hmm. and everything was, everything okay. was back to normal. What that, whatever that was, it was trying to enter in, inside and take over your body. Oh my God. But it couldn't stay in. Truly. You're, you had an experience up here. Yes. There was a mini fridge in here and I was cleaning the top of the mini fridge and I saw something in the corner of my eye and before I was able to turn my head to look at it, something hit me in the side. I flew from mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. all the way to here and this when I landed, there was this huge crash. The bottom of the mirror from where it landed was here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The mirror weighed more than, like I say, at least 250 pounds, and it did cut me. The darker force enters right from that space, OK? I am telling you to be watchful of this space right here. Okay. There's some kind of energy portal where it gets in. It kind of swung around. It was toying with you a little bit. Give me one second. What I don't know that you're really seeing is that you have something protecting you. It's sunny. It was Sonny that shoved you out of the way. He is protecting the two of you. You do have a white spirit, a good spirit watching over you. You absolutely do. Now, as far as Erica goes, when this dark energy was trying to take over your body, it was too much for your energy field to handle. This man, Sonny, was able to help you. But in all honesty, about the dark energy I'm feeling, mm -hmm. I want to make sure what face it's really showing me. Mm -hmm. My fear is that Sonny may not be able to protect the two of you. So why don't we try to digest this? Walk out of the space since it is very heavy in here. Now, earlier you mentioned someone dying in this building. Um, from what I understand, there was a fellow who had a, a business, and um, it was a. It, it grew really fast, and then just as quickly was taken away from him and he lost everything. And, you know, he'd gone and bought a big house and he'd had a whole floor of this building. It was on the third floor. And one day he came in and seemed normal enough to everybody, said hello to everybody on his way into work. And evidently he did commit suicide. Okay, well, now that makes all the sense in the world because Usually, violent deaths or suicides can keep a soul stuck in the space where they died. Right. And what happens for this man to try to move in the other world to a higher place or a higher vibration, he's trying to help you now in order to help himself move into a better existence on the other side. Because this man was a very gentle man. I feel him. I feel what a kind soul he is. He just had, you know, bad breaks. And, and, but I can tell he's almost ready to move on to the other side. 